Modern Crystallography 101 uh, from the uh, uh, Zambezi Valley, uh, Zim uh, Zimbabwe, Chibuku deposit. Amethyst predominantly, smoky amethyst quite typically. But now I think let's follow the reflections on this guy. Uh, just to understand this crystal a little bit better, this is a floater, so it would have formed as is in nature. Crystalline, interesting crystallization around the edges, going across like that, going across like that. One face over there, going in onto the main termination. Lovely rich color going in here. Just zoom in on that. So a dark, very dark amethyst interlaced with the smoky, of course. Then when we turn it over, so we've got that crystal at the bottom now. We have a totally different aspect, crystallization running right up here, and across here. So very intricate crystallization. I'd actually, this, this is a quite an appealing point of display for me. Um, this is what I'd, I'd choose. Um, going across like that. Look at that crystallization running around there. And then let's have a good look at the color. Now we're going to look at the edges of the crystal. Unfortunately, these these are very bright and lustrous, but they, they come to true fruition with good backlighting. So you can actually see the colors running right through. And you'll see patterns of smoky running through an undertone of amethyst. And then often you have little inclusions of hematite in these too. All the way from Zimbabwe, Shangan Quartz. Quite, a, quite an intricate... Uh, uh, a structure, a, a uh, engineering uh, feat, if I may call it that. And that seems to be the main crystal over there. So if we take this as the main face. So there are various aspects of display. And of course, a uh, this one can be studied. There's a hell of a lot happening here. Quite lovely.